This was my latest video and some people were wondering about the spinning, changing into another outfit and the whole idea of this. So I thought I would start a project from scratch, work it through with you and it may end up being, I don't know how long it's going to end up being, but um, I can put the timestamps into the description and then you can just go to what you may want to see. So what I'm going to do first is I am going to grab some backgrounds and the main reason I want to make sure I do that um, as I talk where's my little I thought, oh there it is I'm just going to use the same ones I had before um, I had the image of the office building and I think I had it more like that and I had people in the background and the reason why I want to do this is so that when I place the character I make sure that she will be in the right spot on both of the screens this was the other one that I had done so I have both of these and we can check the placement of the character so now I need my character. I'm going to worry about some of the other effects on the image later, but right now I'm going to go to my character builder, my creator, and I'm going to click and drag to the canvas. You can also click and drag. I always forget that we can do this now. We can click and drag right to the timeline, which wasn't an option before. So I'm going to place her where I think she belongs on this one. And let's see where she ends up here. She's not looking so good. But that's okay because I think I want that a little bit bigger anyways. So let's see. That might be good. I had her bigger on mine, I think, because I didn't have the chandelier. But I'm going to leave that like that because you can just play around with whatever backgrounds you use. She still looks good here. All right, we, so we're on our way here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use, you can go in and customize the top, the hat, the pants, the hair, the color of everything that you want to do. And that's in a different tutorial. So I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to change her to one of my presets. And I also have a tutorial on that. So I'm going to make sure that she's highlighted with the blue and I'm just going to collect, uh, select the one that I want. I might make her a little bigger here. Let's see. And how will that look on this one? The reason I really want to make sure I get this right from the start is you don't want to be changing it after you've already set up the characters. So I think I'll leave that. The other little trick that you can do is it might get confusing to have this background on here. So I'm going to detach the mask just so I can get rid of the distracting piece. So I can click and drag it. That way I'm not seeing all the extra stuff. And then I always forget. So remember to attach it again, because when you detach it to move it, whoop, I sometimes end up moving it and then it's all messed up. So Command Z is my friend. <laughs> in this app. So you want to make sure that you attach it again. Let me show that again with this background. I'm going to detach it. I'm going to make it smaller, select the whole canvas, then attach it again. Now I don't have all of that distraction there. All right, our first character. We need to make her spin around. So I'm just gonna leave her there for a moment, not doing anything. Now with her highlighted in blue, I'm gonna add an animation of the character view. And I typically use linear a lot. I'm on the first keyframe. I'm going to go to the end keyframe. 
I'm going to select rotate. And now I'm going to rotate her around a bunch of times. And I'm being kind of sloppy and she's twisting a little bit. But you get the idea and you can be slower and more precise. So let's see one more. Make sure she ends up in the right position. Let's see how that looks. Oh, she's going fast, which is okay because I wanted to make it longer anyways. Let's see. I think that's good. So now we have her spinning. Now I need my other character. So all I did was I selected. So if I'm not on there, I just need to make sure it's blue. You can duplicate it this way by just clicking duplicate. I tend to select it and I use command D a lot. You can do either one. I moved her so that we had a character spinning and then turning into someone. But she's the same character. I didn't change her. So with the second character selected, I'm just going to make her into my superwoman. So now let's see. And now we have both of them. But look, because this is still all right there, you still see her in the background. We don't want that. So we need to bring it down. So she disappears after she finishes. Now, if you look, that still doesn't look too great because I'd like the first one to fade a little bit so that she starts to fade out of view. And the way that I did that is, if you see I hover right between the two of them and I click, I get my one, my one click transitions. And I used the dreamy days. And so as she starts to spin, she disappears, the other one fades in. See? And I think that gives a better view of turning into somebody else, right? There we go. And actually, those timings don't look so bad. That looks good. So now we have the character changing, but the background didn't change. And then what I did with her is once she changed, I added a new action, which was happy or dancing, I forget. I think it was dancing. There we go, yeah, I had her dancing after. So this one was standing there, spin, and then she's dancing. Clearly my background came in too late, but let's look at what I did with the background. So now we have our character all set. What I did, let me go to the original. What I did with the background, this first one, you can see I have blur out. What I did is in this group, I'm gonna open the group. I had the background image, and then I had some characters just looking like they were in the office, um, which I'm not going to create this time. But I had, you can see I blur out on the image as well because that was before I added the characters. So we don't even have to do that. But if you level, if you layer things in there, you're going to want to group it. So let me show you. Maybe I'll even just add one of those characters just to show you why you have to group it. Um, let me just get a 3D character. Where are all my people? All right, we're just gonna put her in the background. All right, she's just lurking back there and 
I'm going to put her over the image. Let's just make her idle so she doesn't do a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to shorten this because we're going to do a transition. So right here, I don't want them to be so bright, right? I want them to be more faded so it looks more like a background and the image of the character itself is the focus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the background image and the lady. I'm going to group those. You can either right click and group, or I tend to use my command and G, either one of those. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this up. I am going to go to my effects, blur, click and drag that to my group. And I just want that to stay blurred. So now see how she's standing out as the, the target of interest in the video. You can click on blur and you can change how blurry it is, how sharp it is. You can do any of that that you want. Now what I did, it was a little too blurry I think, is when you blur it you can see how the um, background cuts off a little bit from the blur. So all I did to fix that is I just made it a little bit bigger. And then that way you can even do it from the start and just increase the mask size. All right, so we have her twisting, but we definitely, we don't want her in the business spot anymore there. So we need to add our other background. I shouldn't have moved that up. I'm going to move it down one more. Now, as she spins, we want this background to come into place, right? So now we have her turning into Superwoman and then the background, but that background is too abrupt. What I did is I used that same one click transition. Let me just make sure I'm between these two. Once I see the green bar, I, I just click with my mouse and I have the dreamy days. And as she turns, it turns into the background. See? Well, let's play that from the start. Now I might play with those timings a little bit, but essentially that was all that I did. I used a one click transition to make that effect after I used the rotation to change her into that. There you go. That's how you can create that whole project. Hope it helps. If you have any questions, just let me know.